I know exactly where we're going. Ready to go, dude? Ready to go, dude? Ready to go, dude? bush pilot yeah what is a bush pilot <laughs> somebody that lands in the bushes no uh, we do a very unique type of flying in that it is uh, we, we never land anywhere uh, that would be considered a real runway uh, we land in mountain tops on river bottoms sandbars beaches uh, any, anywhere uh, basically um, and it takes a different type of uh, training for that you have to be uh, you fly by, by feeling instead of by numbers, and uh, it takes a long time, a lot of experience. There are few, few people that do it very well, and we do here. <laughs> yeah, bush pilots are people that love exploring. They love getting out there. I uh, love really, really exploring Earth with aviation and exploring the edges of aviation safely. In true bush flying, you are picking the spot, you are analyzing the spot, whether it's suitable to land and whether you're going to take off again, and that's kind of bush flying. And landing someplace where nobody has ever landed before. When somebody lands there, now the mystery's gone, you know. Go fast. I'd say growing up, it seemed very normal to be in a family of bush pilots, but it was since I was like five days old, I've been in and around bush planes. So for me, it's like, hey, dad, can I borrow the plane instead of the car? Show up at area today. I built some ideas for uh... well, Super Cub's an amazing device. It was built in the uh mid-50s and uh, they have not been able to make anything better. They're still doing it. There are people that do experimental type aircraft to try to try to compete with these airplanes and uh, Mr. Piper who Piper who designed the Super Cub did a near-perfect uh, deal and I tell everybody that if I could only have one airplane in the entire world from a 747 to a A-Star helicopter it'd be a Super Cub because they're, they're they're simple, uh, they perform amazingly well, and in a lot of the ways it's like strapping on wings and you become a bird. Well, this, the Super Cub is, um, it's a super sturdy airplane, kind of the Jeep of the sky. You know, they're very durable and can do some amazing things. The Super Cubs in particular, they always feel like a magic carpet to me because it's, it's kind of like they're a transport tool. They get you to where you want to be and that's the biggest thing for me. I, I love the sheer joy of flying itself, but for me it's the access and in a land where you can spend days and days or weeks trying to get somewhere on foot and then you hop in one of these little guys and you're there in an hour. <laughs> so it's this, this time machine. There's been uh, modifications to the Super Cub over the years, and one of the best ones is the, the big tires that we use, and they, they actually enable us to do things that uh, even in my dad's era, we weren't able to do. Make it a lot safer 
uh, if you misjudge an area and it's a little bit rougher, or rocks are bigger than you thought they were, those tires uh, make it a much safer operation. Where are we? We are in the part of the Wrangell St. Elias National Park, which is the largest protected landmass on the planet. It's a spectacular place, over 13 million acres of wilderness, true wilderness. And what is true wilderness? Oh man, that's a horrible question. <laughs> <laughs> what is true wilderness? Uh, well, there's not much of it left. Uh, to me, true wilderness has to be places that Ideally, no one's ever been, and so you're, you're the pioneer, you're the explorer, you're the person that is seeing it for the first time, and that means it's unpredictable. Uh, you don't know for sure what's around the next corner. Uh, you don't know, you know what you're gonna run into. But uh, it still has to be a bit unknown to be true wilderness. Uh, well, this is a Glock 45 Auto for bears. The most important thing is a Snickers bar for when people get hangry on hikes. That's the Snickers bar. And skin cancer is a real killer. Everybody use uh, sunblock. It's important. Yeah. So a big thing on safety, sunblock, Snickers, and the occasional 45 Auto. Grizzly bears. What do I love about bush flying? Uh, to me, the airplane is a tool. The airplane is a tool to get into the wilderness. Uh, I love wilderness, I love wild places, I love exploring. To be able to land and get into some place that maybe no one's ever been uh, and explore true wilderness, that's what really what I enjoy. The type of flying we do is um, very free. I would say that's the biggest benefit is just the freedom we have to go wherever we want. It's a good question. I Honestly, what I love flying the most is access to remote places you can't get to otherwise. I love to be able to get a different perspective on the world, kind of a bird's eye view, see what's going on. There's no boundaries. You can go up, down, sideways, circles, whatever you want to do. Freedom. Total freedom. You know, there's north, south, east, and west, and you can go any direction, and, and every day you find new places to go to, new things to see, because it's always changing. You know, the landscape here changes on a daily basis with the ice and the water, and uh, some place you landed last week doesn't even exist this week. Uh, I just feel really privileged to have a job like this. Uh, a lot of people tell me that I got the best job in the world, and I agree. <laughs> so I get to go out every day uh, with meet people from all over the world and um, explore new places. And for me, it's, uh, I have as, as much fun as they do.